Welcome again to ragurkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to move our RPA development into Agile methodology. When we want to move our RPA development in quicker phase, or we want to just move our project to be completed in production as soon as possible, then this is a must require component we can do the development in Agile methodology so that we can find it out defect in earlier phases rather than going into the productions and identify the defect and fixing it was that is much, much painful. So here we'll show you how we can start our RPA development in Agile methodology. So if you want to learn in detail then please watch complete video and if you have not yet subscribed this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates here i'm going to use a rally tool that, that is also called as ca agile central once we are logged in we are able to see this screen and the mandate requirement of using or creating a backlog and assigning to the different teams is you need to have planning permission so you can check it from edit profile sections here you should have the planning permission should be available or checked here now when we want to create a backlog simply go to the plan and click on backlogs here you will find it out all these are the story which is created for you. You can see it simply on clicking the user story. So this is the first user story. You can see it here. I will show you how you can create a user story and move into the sprints. So first understand what is Agile methodology. Agile methodology is a framework or the plan where we are working to move our smaller smaller functionality which is built in development in other phases like qa uat and productions so by using this method we can understand or get the bug or defect in earlier phases rather than tracking into the production in sim simple terms let's say if i want to build a website which contains five functionality one is for recording second is for products third is for the services fourth is contact information and fifth which might have their user studies or use cases so if i want to build first functionality is on priority then that recording should be picked first and whenever they will start the recording functionality on development phase once it is completed it should moved into the second steps like qa or uat phases once the development is done then the development team will start working on the second functionality and so on so this is the flow where they will deliver small small chunk of the data to different teams so that they can perform their assigned tasks so creating a user student simply uh, you have to click on add new and from here you can select your type of backlogs which backlogs you want to create it project name will be already selected if you want to change your project name simply click it here and you can change it now you have to define your user story name so i'm giving here as a recording user story plan estimate is basically how much we are expecting to be completed this will include development qa as well as uat phases so plan estimates should be calculated based on the story points or on or on the day number of day which we, we can take it for the finishings so here that should include all of the teams whoever is working here like 
development qa and uat qa and uat both will comes under testing phase but while doing testing we have to consider both the qa might be from the one organization similar organizations where the developer is working uat is from the end user in some of the organization you will find it out uat is also done by the same organization but different set of people so let's say i am giving here a six, uh, five user story and click click with create with details here we have to define or provide the description about the user story then the attachments and the nodes and in the right sections you will find it out owner of the user story so you can change it to anyone's name but as of now in my login credentials i am the only person who is using this so i am keeping with my name color you can specify the color as per your requirements then scheduled state is basically defined in progress completed and accepted so as of now it's in defined state so i'm keeping on the same or default state flow states you can define it so if you want to provide the flow state otherwise you can skip it plan estimates i have given you as five parent if you have any parent or the uh bigger user story or the feature you can assign with that if you are using any tags you can provide this tag post that click on create and your user story will be created successfully now every team has to enter the own task while creating the task simply click on add button or plus icon and enter your the task detail like recording for development so this task will be used for development team and how much estimates they are providing this is basically in terms of days or in hour so let's say i am giving here today i am simply clicking on create now i just going to copy this and make it for uat and other people's tasks so let me add it here so this one is i am making for qa then this one i will use it for uat so all three teams task has been created and enter for tracking point of view so all three teams is taking one two today let me change it to one one day for the uat and qa team now you can see if my task has been completed so simply i will go to here and mark it as completed for the development then it will automatically assign it to the qa team and this also we can mark it into the in progress or in completed state so if a developer has marked it to the completed state then it will automatically assign to the qa team and qa team will start working on that user story and once the qa team has been done then they will mark their task here as completed and it will automatically assign it to uat team and once uat has been done from here they will change the step to accept it it means it is accepted by every team and this user story has been completed so this is how we can create a user story for each functionality and basically this is moving in a sprint wise manner each sprint contain at least two weeks of time and that two weeks will be worked by each and every member and the status of these two weeks will be marked on or tracked on regular basis in dsu call that is daily scrum call or daily stand up call and the person who is managing the complete team is basically a scrum master or project manager or project lead basically this task will be managed by scrum master who has 
the control of each and every team member they will the person who is allocated to this scrum master he or she will provide all the resources which is required for rp development or for any developing pieces who is that the he or she will take a reporting boss point of view they will report to the business team about the status of the project and these all functionality will be included here so within the short span of time we cannot cover each and everything definitely i will create another set of video where i will discuss few more points when we want to migrate or do the development of rpa project into the agile methodology so this is how we can create a user story for the rpa project and work it accordingly so that's all about this video hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session don't forget to share with the new circle thank you for watching